Hey Boopsies, it's me, Tony Pomponi ASMR, and welcome back to my recorded vid. So, before this begins, if you could just tap that red subscribe, hit all notifications, and check my website, TonyBomboni.com. The link is in the top of the description box below. Book yourself a coffee cup reading with me. I'm going to show coffee cup reading, um, <laughs> coffee cups in this video. Um, book yourself a tarot reading, a candle wax reading. I offer so many services on there. This video is a custom video made by, for Faye, rather. Their name is Faye. Thank you, Faye, for booking this and giving me the permission to post this public on my YouTube page. So if you book a custom ASMR video, I'm going to ask you if it's okay if I post it on my YouTube so I can share it with others. So yes, if you'd like to book your own custom ASMR as well, TonyBomboni.com. Link below. Okay. All right, so I had to dig in my prop bag and I realized my prop bag is getting a little bit too chunky and I need to throw some things out. Like, yeah, it's not cute to be hoarding stuff. And I, I, I'm not a hoarder, but if I ever stash stuff, I would throw it in closets. Like, I'm the type of person that I'm going to hide the mess in the closet. So I need to do some cleaning after this video, which I will. So I put my bag out there. I'm like, Tony, get your butt to cleaning. And it's going to be difficult because there's some things I don't want to throw out. I know I have to, though, because it's just going to keep piling up and adding up. And I'm just going to keep making excuses for myself. So, And this is my workroom, so I feel like the energy needs to be clear. I can't have anything in here that is cluttered. So, yeah, I need to stop and that uh, really a room describes a person like what are you hiding in your closet right like <laughs> so it's like yeah um it's it's about time i kept thinking like oh i need these props for videos and so no you don't need that many props that you barely use but once a year if you need something new make it new buy it and i feel like a lot of this stuff i've already used a billion times so uh let's just say one of these things i might throw out after this video it may be the last time you see it, and that is this Anubis mask. I mean, really, do I need this? Like, really? You've seen this, like, so many times, I'm sure. So, Faye wanted me to tap on coffee cups and stuff from Egypt and talk about them, so. <laughs> Which is uh, a very interesting video. Oh, what is this? See? There is something here. Is that where that came from? I was wondering, no, this has to be from something else. I was like, why is that? There's like this black stuff that keeps coming out of my bag. I'm like, where is it coming from? It's like sticking to everything. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to um, figure out where that's coming from because that's not cute, okay? But yeah, it's a mask I did for an Egyptian video long ago. It's an Anubis mask. I have more Egyptian stuff, but some of it you can't actually tap on it, and it wouldn't make sound, so I decided not to show it for this video. This is a plastic mask. It is big. It is quite big. <laughs> Anubis the dog. He greets you in the afterlife, after you die. And he weighs your heart, and if it's too heavy, if it's heavier than that feather, uh, you in trouble, girl. <laughs> so here is an onk, onk, onk. Different symbols. And I hear through the grapevine that everybody wants to go to Egypt. But I also heard from someone that I've known that they've been to Egypt. And it's not like... People imagine. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> it's not what people expect. Like, they expect they're going to find, like, all this stuff. It's like, um, it's mostly, like, boring, vast, empty desert. Like, like, you know, people who think of Florida, right? Every landscape is pretty dull in itself. It's just nothing but, like, nature. I don't know how to describe it. Like, Florida is actually the flattest state. So, like, beyond... The parks and the 
beaches, like really the entirety of Florida is nothing extraordinary. Um, so I guess people have like a culture shock or get disappointed when they go somewhere thinking, oh my God, it's like, I'm going to go here and it's going to be beautiful. And then they find out it's like, oh, like it's only beautiful in that little corner and and then that that's a little, little pretty there, but then 99% of it's like, not what I thought. So, you know, I'm not calling out Egypt, but that's what people told me. Like, I went to Egypt. They were like, um, and they couldn't even access like certain museum, and they they were like super protective of the gold, like the gold in the museum. I was like, like the guards were crazy protective. And then there was like people that kept asking them for money, trying to, there's like kids like flirting with the women just so they can like marry them, you know? I don't know, I mean that's in every, every country if you think about it though, I mean it's not like, I'm not judging. I ain't judging Egypt, okay? That's just what I heard. I can't speak on my behalf because I've never been there. This is... Bastet, the cat god, Bastet. They believed in many gods. And then I think one of them, a trap almost got like, in a sticky situation where they were went in someone else's caravan. I'm, I don't know even what happened. Like you need to be vigilant if you're if you're a tourist there and probably not go along. But again, that's like everywhere. So like don't call me out in the comments and say, oh my god, you're bashing Egypt. No. This not it has nothing to do with Egypt. It's obelisk. With all these hieroglyphic hieroglyphics. Looks like the monument in Washington DC, doesn't it? Makes you think. I believe they're like points of energy. I don't know. And then I have this. Which I guess is a pharaoh. It's supposed to be outdoor decor, but this little guy hangs out inside. And he does kind of give me the creeps sometimes, up close. cups so I have four of these little guys I pretty much use all of these for your coffee cup readings um, so I have one in black I think this is black yeah these are the smallest ones I have <laughs> they're too tiny though like you can barely drink any coffee out of them <laughs> honestly one's in purple. So in the beginning when I did coffee cup readings, I only worked with these four. The black, the purple. The pink. Which is my favorite one. And the blue. Slash teal. They're so cute, aren't they? Yes, they're adorable. And this one I recently got from Ikea. It 
this is the perfect like round and width and depth for reading coffee and it's so smooth and white and blank it's like you need a blank canvas to properly read coffee and something comfortable that you can rotate like this you know and smooth and glossy this is the perfect coffee cup for coffee cup readings And then we have this owl. This one is a bit more complicated. It is still for kind of like coffee, like Turkish coffee, which I use for these coffee readings, but um, it's a bit too deep and not so round. It's just like a rigid edge like any other cup. So this I rarely use for readings, but um, Whenever I'm called or drawn to it, I suppose. These are hand wash. They're super sensitive because of this. Oh, it says microwave and dishwasher safe. Never mind, but I wouldn't be putting this in the dishwasher. I'm worried this little gold colored stuff would flake off. Then another similar one, but this one is a toucan. This is my favorite. I love toucans. I love toucans ever since a kid. I always thought I was a toucan in a past life. And look at these. I also love these, like, mm, I wouldn't call them chevron, but these geometric patterns, they kind of always drew me in somehow. So, these are by Stechkol. S-T-E-C-H-C-O-L. Not, not sponsored. Gracie Bone China by Coastline Imports. This other one with the stork. Grace Teaware, fine porcelain. This is hand wash only. So I would consider this like fine china. Yeah, because this is really fragile, sensitive. But I, I love these patterns. Oh, I see these everywhere and I just love it. Oh, this is so cute, isn't it? A bonsai tree. Oh, the little fan patterns in the cherry blossom. Mm. So cute. This is my favorite cup so far, definitely. Oh, y'all, my voice began worn out. It's uh, every time Wednesday. This is my last video of the week I'm filming. Minus the bookings, of course. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to take a break. I'm filming all these three days straight. Ugh. Oh, yesterday I went bike riding for the first time in the late afternoon. Um... Which I never do. I usually exercise in the morning or in the afternoon. So it felt kind of weird to me to be like working on my bike at like six o'clock at night, six to seven o'clock, seven thirty. But it was nice for a change. And then here we have this tropical cup. This is also nice for readings, even though it's a ninety degree angle. I prefer more a cup like this that's roundabout, you know, so it's easier to read. It's not deep enough. It's shallow enough. So where it's easier to read. Sometimes you have to angle it a particular way, so. <sighs> Faye or someone else, I don't know if any of you are interested in coffee cup readings, learning how to do your own readings. Honestly, I might even do a, a, a class on that one day once I get done with this. First, I want to see if this works, right? I, I want to I wanna do the online course, see if it, you know, people really like it. Mm. One at a time. I'm going to take my time. There's no rush. I don't need to. This is why I waited so long. Well, wow, 15 minutes went by. That is our video. Thank you so much for booking a 15 minute custom ASMR video, Faye. And thank you to everyone else supporting this YouTube channel. This one's also by Stetch Cole. Huh, Gracie Bone China. No way. It's the same company that made this. Oh my god. Gracie Bone China, you cool, okay? You cool with me. All right now. <laughs> Bye, poopsies. TonyBoneBunny.com. Check out my ASMR albums too. <laughs>